subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. Red Cat Reading. Learn to read. Why people wear glasses. Seeing better. Do you wear glasses? Or has someone told you that you need glasses? If you already wear glasses, you know how much they help. If you don't wear glasses yet, but you need them, get ready to see better. Not everyone needs glasses, but many people do. Their eyes need a little help to work the way they should. First, let's learn about how eyes work. Then, we'll look at how glasses help. How your eyes work. Your eyes are like amazing cameras. All day long, they take pictures of the world around you. They send the pictures to your brain. Then, your brain makes sense of the pictures. Imagine taking a picture with a camera. Light rays from an object enter the camera through the lens. A camera lens is a special piece of glass. The light rays pass through the lens and get recorded on a computer chip. Your eyes also have lenses. Light rays pass through them. The light rays are recorded on your retinas, special areas at the back of your eyes. Your retinas change the light rays into light signals. The signals travel through your optic nerves to your brain. Look at this picture of a human eye. The colored part is the iris. The part in the middle is the pupil. The pupil is a hole in the middle of the iris. It lets light from the outside world into the eye. Is it a sunny day? The iris makes the pupil smaller, so less light enters. Is it dark outside? The iris makes the pupil bigger to let in more light. Now let's look at the main parts of the eye from the side. The cornea is a clear covering over the iris and pupil. Light passes through the cornea and then through the pupil. Can you guess where the light goes next? That's right, through your lens. The lenses in your eyes can change shape. They can become wider or thinner. Because they can, you can see things both close and far away. Hold your hand close to your face and spread your fingers. Look at your fingers. Now, look between your fingers at an object across the room. Your lenses are focusing on your fingers and then on the object far away. They are changing shape to help you see both things clearly. Nearsighted and farsighted. Some eyes need help to see well. Remember how light rays from objects are recorded on your retinas? Look at this diagram again. The image of the upside-down tree is on the retina. That's because the eyeball is the right shape, round. Sometimes a person's eyeballs are a little too wide. When this happens, the image lands in front of the retinas. As a result, objects that are far away look blurry. This person is nearsighted. Sometimes a person's eyeballs are a little too thin. In this case, the image lands behind the retinas. Objects that are very close look blurry. This person is farsighted. Visiting an eye doctor. An eye doctor can tell you how much help your eyes need. You will look at different things with one eye covered. Then, you will cover your other eye and look at the same things. The doctor wants to know what kind of help each eye needs. Then, you will look at an eye chart. Read the smallest row of letters you can see clearly. Then, you will look through different little glass windows. Tell the doctor which windows help you read the chart better. The eye doctor will also look inside your eyes. You just have to sit very still. It doesn't hurt at all. After the doctor is finished, you will get a prescription. 
This is a piece of paper with numbers. The numbers stand for how to make the right glasses for your eyes. Getting glasses. Do you remember the lenses in cameras and eyes? Glasses have lenses too. The lenses are different shapes depending on the problem. They bend the light that enters the eyes. Then, the images land on the retinas, not in front or behind them. You can try on many different glasses to find frames that you like. Then, give a worker your prescription. Your glasses will be ready in a few hours or days. Have fun with your new glasses. It's great to see well. Dinosaurs Dinosaur fossils. Long before the time of humans, dinosaurs ruled the world. Some of these amazing animals were huge. People have known about dinosaurs since the 1800s. Ever since then, people have wanted to learn more. We know about dinosaurs because we have found fossils. Some fossils are bones, teeth, and other body parts that turn to stone. Other fossils are things like footprints, nests, and eggs. Fossils help us learn about the bodies and lives of dinosaurs. What kind of animal? Dinosaurs are members of a large animal group known as reptiles. Most reptiles today have dry, scaly skin. During the time of dinosaurs, not all reptiles had scales. Some had feathers. Dinosaurs walked in a different way from today's reptiles. Let's compare a lizard and a dinosaur. The lizard's legs stick out on the sides. The dinosaur's legs are under its body. Where dinosaurs lived. Dinosaurs lived on every continent. Some kinds of dinosaurs lived in many different places. Other kinds lived in only a few places. When dinosaurs were alive, all the continents were closer together. It was easier to get from one continent to another. Scientists who study dinosaurs are called paleontologists. They have found hundreds of kinds of dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs are known from just a few bones. For others, most of their bones have been found. Paleontologists place dinosaurs in one of two groups based on their hips. Lizard hip dinosaurs have hip bones like modern lizards. Bird hip dinosaurs have hip bones like birds. Let's learn about some dinosaurs in each group. Lizard hipped dinosaurs. The best known dinosaur is Tyrannosaurus rex, or T rex. This huge meat eater had strong back legs and a long, powerful tail. Its front legs were tiny. No one knows what T rex used them for. T rex had a thick, heavy skull. Its bite was the strongest of any land animal ever. Its mouth was filled with large teeth. The front teeth were for grabbing and pulling. The side teeth tore meat, and the back teeth cut up the meat. T Rex mainly ate large plant eating dinosaurs. It hunted some of its food. It also ate animals that were already dead. More than 50 T Rex skeletons have been found. The largest one is on display in Chicago. Velociraptor was another meat eater. This dinosaur was much smaller than T Rex. It was different in another way, too. It had feathers. However, its arms were too short for flying. It had a long tail and a large claw on each back foot. Brachiosaurus had a very long neck. Its front legs were longer than its back legs. Brachiosaurus means arm lizard. This dinosaur was a leaf eater. 
An adult Brachiosaurus ate more than 800 pounds of leaves every day. Bird-hipped dinosaurs. Triceratops was a plant eater with a huge head. It had three horns and a bony collar, or frill. The horns grew longer as the dinosaur got older. Triceratops used its horns to fight other dinosaurs, including T-Rex. Ankylosaurus had armor on the top of its body. The armor was made up of bony plates and knobs growing in its skin. Ankylosaurus also had horns on its head and a tail like a club. This plant eater was about half as long as a school bus. Stegosaurus was another armored plant eater. It had a small head and wide plates that stood up on its back. The tip of its tail had spikes. Paleontologists think that Stegosaurus used its spiked tail to keep enemies away. Shantungosaurus was a kind of hadrosaur, or duck-billed dinosaur. Hadrosaurs were the largest bird-hipped dinosaurs, and Shantungosaurus was the largest hadrosaur. Many fossils of hadrosaurs have been found. These dinosaurs lived in groups of hundreds or even thousands. Other early reptiles. Not all large reptiles from long ago were dinosaurs. Pterosaurus, or winged lizards, were flying reptiles. Several kinds of large reptiles lived in the ocean. What happened to dinosaurs? Large dinosaurs were gone by about 65 million years ago. An important cause was a giant space rock hitting Earth. When it hit, a huge dust cloud kept sunlight from reaching Earth. Without sunlight, plants died and plant-eating dinosaurs had no food. Then, meat-eating dinosaurs ran out of food too. Some small dinosaurs did not die, however. They stayed alive and changed over millions of years. In fact, they are still alive today. These animals are birds. Paleontologists think of birds as avian dinosaurs, or bird-like dinosaurs. Only non-avian, not bird-like dinosaurs died out. Learning more. People are finding new dinosaur fossils all the time. New fossils help paleontologists learn more about dinosaurs. Many years from now, we will know even more about these huge reptiles. Do you want to learn more about dinosaurs? You can read about dinosaurs online and in books. You can see dinosaur fossils in many museums. You can also study dinosaurs in college and become a paleontologist. Holidays. Celebrate. All around the world, people celebrate holidays. Each holiday has a special meaning and special ways to celebrate. Friends and families gather together on holidays. Food, games, gifts, prayer, singing, and telling stories may all be part of the celebrations. Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year celebrates springtime. Many of this holiday's traditions are meant to bring good luck in the new year. People put good luck sayings in their homes. They make sure their homes are very clean. Red and orange are the colors of the Chinese New Year. People wear these colors to keep bad luck away. Young people receive money wrapped in red paper. Special foods such as oranges are also thought to bring good luck. Holy. Holi is a Hindu holiday. It celebrates the end of winter and the beginning of spring. Holi is a time to laugh and play. People build bonfires during this holiday. The ashes from the bonfires are thought to bring good luck. Cut. 
Color is a big part of the holy celebration. People decorate their homes with bright colors. Everyone wears colorful clothing. Friends toss colored powder and colored water on each other. Ramadan and Eid al Fitr. Ramadan is a special month for Muslims. They honor their faith with thoughts and prayer. People do not eat or drink while the sun is up during Ramadan. After the sun sets, friends and family have a meal together. The holiday of Eid al Fitr happens at the end of Ramadan. This holiday may last for one, two, or three days. People gather in a large group and offer a special prayer. Families have a feast and give gifts. They also give money to people in need. Day of the Dead. On Day of the Dead, people remember loved ones who have died. This fall celebration comes from Mexico and lasts for three days. People clean up the graves of loved ones. Some families have picnics at the graves. During Day of the Dead, people leave gifts for loved ones who have died. Families gather to tell happy stories about those people. They also celebrate with colorful parades. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a harvest celebration. It began with the first people who came from England to North America. Families gather to give thanks for the good in their lives. Family members often come from far away. People share a special meal and enjoy each other's company. Turkey, stuffing, cranberries, and pumpkin pie are Thanksgiving foods. After the meal, people often say what they are thankful for. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is an eight day holiday celebrated by Jewish people. This holiday celebrates a time long ago when oil in a lamp burned for eight days. People light one candle for each night of Hanukkah. The Hanukkah celebration includes songs and games. Children play a game with a top called a dreidel. They receive a small gift each night of the holiday. People decorate their homes with the Hanukkah colors of blue and white. Christmas. People of the Christian faith celebrate Christmas every year on December 25th. This holiday celebrates the birth of the Christian Son of God. People decorate fir trees with lights and ornaments. They also decorate their houses and yards. Red and green are traditional Christmas colors. Presents are placed under a fir tree. People often open presents on Christmas morning. A special Christmas dinner happens later in the day. Music is also important during this holiday. Groups of people walk through neighborhoods singing Christmas songs called carols. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa celebrates the traditions of Americans whose families came from Africa long ago. This harvest holiday in late December lasts for seven days. People light a candle for each day of Kwanzaa. They decorate their homes with red, black, and green. People celebrate Kwanzaa with stories, songs, gifts, and special meals. Gifts are meant to help children become strong members of their family and community. The gifts also remind children to honor African traditions. Winter Solstice. Winter Solstice is the first day of winter. It is the shortest day of the year. Native Americans and many other groups celebrate this day. Winter Solstice honors the return of sunlight after a dark time. Many holidays. These are just a few of the holidays people celebrate around the world. Holidays are a special time to celebrate with family and friends. They are also a time to give thanks for our lives and our traditions. What is your favorite holiday?
tornadoes. Twister. A house is destroyed in seconds. A car is thrown into the air. A train is flipped upside down. A tree is ripped out of the ground by its roots. These things are the result of twisters or tornadoes, nature's most violent weather. What is a tornado? A tornado is a very strong column of air that is spinning. It stretches from a thunderstorm down to the ground. Some tornadoes spin faster than others. The fastest winds spin up to 300 miles per hour. On the ground, most tornadoes are less than one quarter of a mile wide. However, some can be wider than a mile. Most tornadoes are on the ground between 10 and 30 minutes. The strongest tornadoes can be on the ground for more than an hour. How tornadoes form. Most tornadoes form from very large thunderstorms called supercells. These storms form when warm, moist air is trapped under cool, dry air. As the warm air rises, it gets cooler and forms clouds and thunderstorms. Sometimes the air begins to spin very fast around a funnel or tube shape. If the spinning wind touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. Scientists aren't sure why some supercells produce tornadoes and others don't. Where tornadoes form. Tornadoes can form almost anywhere. However, the United States has more tornadoes than any other country. Every year, the United States has about 1,000 tornadoes. Canada is second with about 100 tornadoes every year. Most tornadoes form in an area called Tornado Alley. This flat area is in the middle of the United States. Warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico meets cool, dry air from Canada. Tornado Alley also gets warm, dry air from the Southwest. More than 700 tornadoes formed in April 2011. That was the most tornadoes in a single month since records have been kept. On April 27, 2011, 207 tornadoes formed in a 24-hour period. That's the most tornadoes in a single day. Measuring tornadoes. Weather scientists do not have an exact way to measure a tornado's winds. Instead, they use the enhanced Fujita scale to measure the damage. Wind speeds are estimated. Record-breaking tornadoes, the deadliest in the world. In 1989, a huge tornado struck the Asian country of Bangladesh. It killed at least 1,300 people and hurt 12,000 others. About 80,000 people were left homeless. The deadliest in the United States. The 1925 Tri-State Tornado traveled 219 miles and was on the ground for four hours. It started in Missouri, crossed southern Illinois, and entered Indiana. It holds the U.S. record for the most deaths caused by a single tornado. It also holds the record for the longest tornado track. The most expensive. A huge tornado struck Joplin, Missouri in 2011. Over 100 people died and over 1,000 were hurt. About 8,000 buildings were destroyed. The cost to fix the damage was almost $3 billion. Studying tornadoes. Most people want to stay far from tornadoes, but storm chasers get close to tornadoes to study them. Storm chasers use special instruments to get information about a tornado. They hope to learn how to help people and homes stay safer when a tornado strikes. Weather reports. Tornadoes form fast, and most of them last less than an hour. As a result, weather scientists can't always warn people a long time before a tornado strikes. They let people know when a thunderstorm is likely to produce a tornado. They also announce when a tornado has been seen. Know the difference. 
A tornado watch means that a tornado is likely to form. A tornado warning is more serious. It means that a tornado has been spotted by a person or by weather radar. Tornado safety. Where will you go if a tornado is on the way? Be sure your family has a plan so you will all be safe. Keep a supply of bottled water and canned food. Have a radio, a flashlight, jackets, and a first aid kit too. If a tornado strikes, stay low. Go to a basement if you can. Otherwise, go to the lowest floor. Go to an inside room that has no windows, such as a closet. Stay away from windows and doors. If you are at school, your school will have a plan. If you are outside, lay flat on the ground in a low place. Stay away from power lines. Don't get in a car or mobile home. These places are not safe if a tornado strikes. Listen to weather reports for tornado watches or warnings. You can also watch the sky for signs of a tornado. The sky may get dark and greenish. Hail may fall. You may also hear a sound like a roaring train. If so, go to a safe place right away. Take care and stay safe from nature's most violent weather. The end. Subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. For more stories and worksheets, check our website.